weekend, you and I might go out and uh, go for dinner or, or a dance, and Mike would be at a hockey game. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he was always there, wasn't he? I always remember Mike because when you put your mind to something, you did a great job. You had the funny stuff, the honky-tonk man, those kind of things. But the serious reporting, the good reporting, I think, that you take most pride in. Well, you're right. I love the amateur hockey beat. I think anybody who knows me knows that. And I think my personal memory of the show goes back to 1995. It was the year the Calgary Canucks won the Centennial Cup. And there was a window of opportunity for the hockey club because it was the year of the NHL lockout. So more people were going to see them play. And it was great for me to see a man I long admired, Donnie Phelps, the coach of the Canucks, finally get a Centennial Cup ring, and I was able to share that in a fun way. Michael, here is the architect of the victory. It's 20 years for this man to get to the Centennial Cup. That's what you get after uh, waiting for 20 years. I, I don't know. I can't afford another coat for 20 years. What it's all about, baby. You see it. <laughs> we all know that that was what you loved best, and you did a great job on that. But we also know that you had a, a flip side that we enjoyed a lot, too. You're a very talented man, and it, and it came to some of your own impressions. You're pretty good at impressions. The honky-tonk man comes to mind. I really enjoyed comedy, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I loved having a good time and being light on the show. No, uh, there was always room for fun on our show. And one of the funnest things that the, myself and Mike Lonsbro uh, cooked up one night was the adventures of Ed... And the Honky Tonk Man, Eddie Whalen, and world-famous wrestler, the Honky Tonk Man. Take a look at this stuff. You know that the Honky Tonk Man loves limousines and diamond rings. He loves pretty girls and fancy pearls. I'm in a limo right now, baby, and I'm going to pick you up, and we're going to have ourselves a Honky Tonk Halloween. Mercy me! Woo! Here we go, the honky-tonk man likes pretty girls and fancy pearls, diamond rings and limousine. Get in there, lady. Come on. We're going to honky-tonk Halloween. Woo! Mercy me. Well, I'm a honky-tonk man. Ain't a crazy style. Love to give the girls a world to the music of an old goodbye. Oh, my God, it's Normie, Doc, everybody. <laughs> I'm a honky-tonk man. Still there, didn't he? That guy's got two jobs, a fireman and a football player. The man's got no money. Let's honky-tonk on Stu Laird's head, baby. I want to scrap tonight. No. You think I'm scared of Laird? Come on, baby, let's get red hot. I'm not afraid of any fireman. Come on, fireman, I'm calling you out. Oh, my goodness, there's a malfunction at the junction here, baby. What's going on? Oh, my God. Anyone, anyone, don't leave us out, boy. Oh, my honky. You got him. You got him. You're doing good, kid. Bye, honky. I'm a honky tonk man. And since Lonsbro is now the only man with sideburns in the department, Grant, I will you my honky tonk sideburns. Wear them with pride, my, my friend. Goodness, this is they still stick? Oh, I think so. <laughs> They're you. You're left to looks like, <laughs> looks like Snoopy. <laughs> You're Mr. Sideburns, though. And uh, from sideburns to gray cup. That's I don't know if that's a good or not. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my Stanley Cup days. I'm sure you remember going to Toronto in the gray cup. Yeah, boy, that was a lot of fun. Uh, stealing Larry Rickman's limo that night with oh, all yeah. the players. And, uh, and just being in the dressing room uh, when they won the gray cup and, and seeing friends like Stu Laird and Greg Peterson and Matt Finley winning a gray cup, finally. That's intense and most enthusiastic. The enthusiasm I've ever been involved with. Thank you. Like I said, the most abuse in the locker room. We don't Get in here and have a drink you of this. Stuff. You look naked. Okay. Uh, excuse me while I take a sip. <laughs> okay, 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 good, good. Thank you very much. Hey, oh, come on. You're getting better than that. Errol, let me have a shot out of that. There you go. That's a great move. Hey, Errol. 
Oh, shit. I'm mad, eh? How are you? What's the matter? That's right. I feel great, baby. I climbed on top of the world, and I am the king You're of this castle. Murdered. Live! Right, yeah. Live! Live at Sports at 11! Oh! <laughs> 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 Gosh, what a proud moment for us all. Isn't that good? Here, I'm sitting by a guy who looks like Captain Kangaroo with his <laughs> Think of these sirens. Yep. Now I can really segue because I wish I had these for disco night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have to explain what disco night is, but I was not keen on it. Oh, man. Know, as it usually was, I got into it once you talked me into it. I seem to have to talk a lot of guys into doing a lot of things around here like that. Well, your life goes. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> disco night. <laughs> disco night, we uh, kind of uh, went into the old uh, suitcase and got a lot of uh, clothes out of your past wardrobe. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look at it, folks, because it's pretty much self-explanatory. You look smart, my friend. <laughs> You're a smart... Uh, can you imagine a guy just landing at the airport an hour ago, checks into his hotel, <laughs> turns on the TV for the latest sports scores, and sees you and I on TV looking like this? I haven't shown you this, the whole outfit yet, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got the... Here you go! We're going to break. Now, Michael's dancing. and here's the song. More coming up after this. <laughs> If I look like I'm a, a disco guy or run a couple of peep shows in town. <laughs> what do you mean, a couple more loonies, kid? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Enjoy disco night. We'll try and loosen up tomorrow night. <laughs> Keep disco dancing, everybody.